Young and the Restless Spoilers The Silent Funeral of Heather, a Tapestry of Guilt and Grief Heather's funeral was a quiet affair, disturbingly so. The usual murmurs of sorrow and whispers of condolence seemed absent, replaced by an oppressive silence that weighed heavily on everyone in attendance. Despite the sparse crowd, two women stood out among the mourners, their grief spilling over as they clutched tissues and wiped at tears that seemed endless. Phyllis and Sharon, two women with vastly different reasons for their sorrow, yet both bound to Heather's memory in ways that went beyond the ordinary. Phyllis, filled with sorrow for Lucy's loss and still haunted by Heather's absence, cried for the woman who had once been her daughter-in-law and the mother of her granddaughter. To her, this loss was personal, a rupture in the family that could never truly be healed. Every tear she shed felt like a testament to the love, regret, and unspoken words that now could never be exchanged. Beside her stood Sharon, her face pale and her hands trembling as guilt gnawed at her soul. She, too, wept, but her tears carried a darker weight, a mix of remorse and dread. Sharon knew the truth of her own actions, actions that had set into motion events she could never undo. She wasn't just mourning Heather. She was mourning the shattered remnants of her own conscience. Phyllis confronts Sharon. A call for justice. As the silence stretched on, Phyllis's grief turned to anger. She could no longer contain the bitterness that had festered since Heather's death. She turned toward Sharon, her face flushed and her eyes blazing with a fierce determination. Phyllis stepped closer her voice trembling with fury and sorrow as she locked eyes with Sharon. You think this is over, don't you? Phyllis hissed, her voice low but filled with venom. You think you can hide behind your lies and pretend you've done nothing wrong? Sharon recoiled slightly, but she held her ground, her face a mask of defiance mixed with the faintest flicker of fear. Phyllis's words struck deep, unraveling her carefully crafted composure. Her hands shook as she tried to maintain her grip on the narrative she had clung to. The one that painted her as innocent, untainted by guilt. But deep down, Sharon knew that Phyllis was right. The weight of her actions pressed down on her, yet she clung stubbornly to her denial. Phyllis, Sharon managed to whisper, her voice barely audible above her own silent cries. You don't understand. I did what I had to do. I didn't do anything wrong. Phyllis's face twisted in disbelief. She raised her voice, her tone cutting through the silence like a knife. Nothing wrong? You call this nothing wrong? Heather is dead because of you, and you stand here, denying it all. You have blood on your hands, Sharon. You owe it to everyone, to Heather, to Lucy, to confess. Go to prison, pay for your sins, and maybe then you can find some peace. Isn't that what you want? Sharon's internal struggle. Denial and guilt. But Sharon shook her head tears streaming down her face as her grip on her own denial began to slip. She could feel the walls closing in, the weight of her crimes pressing harder, but the thought of prison terrified her beyond reason. She had convinced herself that she could outrun her guilt, but here, in the quiet presence of Heather's memory, it all felt impossible to escape. Her voice shook as she responded, No, I, I can't. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. It wasn't supposed to end this way. I just wanted to protect myself. I never meant to hurt her. Phyllis's anger softened into a look of pity. She could see Sharon's internal struggle, the guilt tearing her apart, but she knew that words alone wouldn't bring justice. Sharon had to take responsibility not just for Heather's sake, but for her own soul. You're a coward, Sharon, Phyllis said, her voice almost a whisper. Hiding behind your lies, trying to justify the unforgivable. If you won't confess, You'll carry this weight forever, and it will destroy you. Tears of guilt and resentment. Phyllis's words left a hollow echo in the air. She turned away, her heart heavy, knowing that nothing she said would change Sharon's mind. Both women dissolved into quiet tears, their emotions spilling out in the eerie silence of the funeral. Each tear was a reminder of what had been lost, of the irreparable damage left in the wake of Heather's death. They both cried yet neither could bring themselves to act paralyzed by fear, guilt, and resentment. They were bound by the invisible chains of Heather's death, chains they could neither break nor escape. It was a tragic irony. They wept for the dead, yet neither would risk her own freedom for justice. The lingering question, will Sharon confess? As the mourners began to disperse, 
One question lingered in the minds of everyone who had witnessed the confrontation. Would Sharon ever confess? Would she find the courage to face her sins? Or would she continue to hide behind her fragile veil of innocence, hoping that the truth would remain buried alongside Heather? Only time would tell. But in the quiet that followed, one thing was clear. The weight of her guilt would haunt Sharon every day, every hour, until she made the choice to confront it, or let it consume her entirely. This narrative draws out the emotions and complexities of Phyllis and Sharon's relationship, focusing on the tension between guilt, denial, and the struggle for justice. Let me know if you'd like to add more to the scene or explore additional perspectives. Music